Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to the Darts Review channel. As you might have seen, Dimitri Vandenberg has left Unicorn Darts and he is now signed with Target Darts. So on Wednesday, Target had the Dimitri Vandenberg product launch and they brought out a few sets of darts and flight stems, wallet and what have you. A very nice uh, limited edition set that they brought out as well. But in this video, I'm going to be having a look at the Dimitri Dream Maker Vandenberg Gen 1 darts and these are also a Swiss point dart so let's check them out so I'm reviewing the 23 gram version the 90% tungsten you can also get them in 21 and 25 gram in steel tip 19 and 21 gram in soft tip and the retail for £64.95 so as you can see they come in the standard target cardboard packaging got some info on the contents and pictures of the darts what have you just pull that flap and inside you've got a foam insert holding the darts on the back you've got your target guarantee leaflet and as, as I said that's fit with the Swiss points and it also comes with the Swiss point tool they're the Swiss DX points and they're also fitted with the Pro Grip short stems in sand colour. And you've got the Dimitri Vandenberg Pro Ultra number no. six small standard flights. So as you can see, they fit with the Swiss DX points. They've got a kind of a crisscross pattern at the very front and then a micro grip and then a, a ring grip so uh, quite an interesting point that and it's a standard straight barrel dart which is what he's used before but it's a little bit more involved than the unicorn version that he had i think the unicorn was quite a simple style of dart so i'm a little bit surprised that they've changed it to the, the amount that they have but I'm guessing he's only going to be gripping with there anyway so I think probably the other changes are probably more to appeal to a broader audience because I think for me the biggest issue with these unicorn version was where I grip at the front it was smooth so this version they've actually put grip on the front so you've got a tapered section with a, a nailed kind of a grip and then a micro grip but all that half has been hand sandblasted. My only reservation compared to his old version was I wish they'd have kept the bull nose because I do prefer a bull nose to a taper but that's probably where I'm going to grip it. But that section, double thin ring grip and then you got a smooth section and then on the rear you got a kind of a sharp grip and then a small taper. We'll have a close look at the grip in the super close up just now but it should still appeal to most grips I think whether you're front mid or rear but maybe mid grippers probably get the best of it and it's got these sand coloured pro grip short stems and the new Dimitri Dream Maker Pro Ultra number no. 6 small standard flights it's kind of a pattern on that bit but there you go so there's a close look at the Swiss DX points. You've got that crisscross at the very front and the micro grip. And then a ring grip with lateral cuts through it. So moving on to the barrel, there's the nose. And as you can see, it's got a nail grip with the hand sandblasted finish. So looks quite neat that. And then you've got above that a micro ring grip, quite fine. Again, very neatly done and then the bulk of the dart is this double thin ring grip and it's got kind of oval shaped rings but quite rounded deepish grooves in between so as you go right towards the end you've got a smooth section with the target logo and then you've got a traditional shark style grip and then a smooth tapered section on the very end so there you go that's the super close look at the target dimitri vandenberg gen 1 darts 
So the dots fit with the Swiss DX points, 26 mm You've got a tapered nose there with the nail grip and that's all sand, hand sand blasted. That's 9mm, then you've got a very fine micro grip, that's 5.8mm. Then you've got this double thin ring grip, that's 19.9mm. Then a smooth section with the target logo, 6.8mm. A sharp grip section, that's 5.5mm. A smooth taper on the end of 3mm. Length is 50mm and the width is 6.5mm. So in case you're interested, these are the comparison to the 22 gram Unicorn Noir version Dimmy Darts. Twenty-three point one seven grams. Twenty-three point one seven grams again. And 23.18 grams so nearly perfect full setup 24.67 grams here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights Most grippy on the double thin ring grip and the shark grip, but the shark grip is kind of around the same level, so 6.5 at most. Is that two in the treble? Ah, why didn't that other one go in? There's a decent amount of grip on them points at the front leg, but where my finger's resting, it's mostly on that micro grip, and that's not as grippy as I was hoping it would be. Almost like my finger's slipping along it a little bit, but closer to the nose of the dart, where the ring and groove part is, it's not so bad there, but I'm just uh, hope, was wishing that micro grip was a little bit more grippy. But on the barrel itself, I'm holding mostly on the micro grip there and a little bit on the nail maybe and it's nice that this dart has got some grip on it the other version that he had didn't have any but i think that hand sandblasted finish it's just giving it a kind of a nice dry feel um personally i think i'd probably still prefer just a touch more grip there on the front but i think with the with the finish it like i say it's got a kind of a non-slip feel but how long that uh, finish will last is another matter but the dart themselves actually feel quite nice to throw it's got quite a nice balance um I still think I would have preferred the bull nose of the old version, but having said that, um, I'm not sure what they would do with the grip then. They'd have to probably decide whether it's going to be the nail or the micro grip. Now, normally, I'm not a fan of nail. It's not so bad on rings, but on the tape there, it like I think you're just feeling the hand sandblasted finish more than anything, so you're just getting that dry feel. But if you like to grip right close to the nose, it's not too bad at all, really. These are definitely more grippy than his old version. That uh, double thin ring grip. It's quite a fine ring grip, but definitely got a bit more edginess. So if he's all the ones weren't grippy enough for you you might be happier with these managed to get a treble <laughs> actually quite a nice bit of grip actually and the dart itself seems to have quite a nice overall balance
Oh, I've got another trowel on the last start. Yep, so probably a nice one for mid grippers. Anyone anywhere on that double thin ring grip, it's not bad at all. Well, the first and last one actually didn't fly too bad. <laughs> I'm holding it on the shark grip there, but you've got that smooth section in front and a little bit of smooth behind it. So for rear grippers, that could possibly spoil it, but at least you've got a little bit of something. I think the shark grip probably not as grippy as it could be though, because it, it looks like it's fairly flattish against the, the barrel. And obviously it's only a short section so if it had been a bit longer and a bit more angled I think it would be quite grippy. Still a little bit of grip there though but it just kind of feels about the same uh, grippiness as the middle. That spun off like crazy that one. Oh I've got a treble on the last dart. <laughs> So, like I said, there's still something there for rear grippers, but I think mid grippers are the ones that are getting the best overall, maybe slightly front of centre as well. And not too bad at all for front grippers as well. There's a nice bit of a grip there and a nice feel to the front. Ah, it's a pity that the other one didn't go in. Two in and one just above. So, there you go. That's the new target. Dimitri Vandenberg Gen 1 darts. Um, actually quite a nice little dart. Um, there's a little bit of something whether you're a front and a rear gripper, but I still think because of obviously it's a player's dart, People who are gripping around the middle is going to probably get the best because just that's where it is the most of the grip. Um, but that front section, quite a nice feel with that hand sandblasted finish. I still wish they'd have kept the ball nose though. <laughs> and for rear grippers, you've still got a little bit of grip there, but obviously you've got that smooth section. Um, so it's going to be quite interesting to see how Dimmy gets on with these new darts because he's been using that older version for quite a long time now so hopefully you'll do well with these so i'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and i'll see you on the next one happy darting <laughs>